Hello fellow gamers, KevinJ2010 here welcoming you back to some more Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last episode, we got attacked by an Arc Whale on our way to Valua to save our friends and family, and especially Fina because she seems really important to the Imperial Armada. And we got saved by a new party member, Captain Drachma. So you can see she's, uh, she's, he's right here and he's level 12 and he's really strong. He's got way more attack than the rest of us and defense for that matter. That's basically what he's based around. And we can also notice here that I didn't mention last episode, there's also a little jack, which is our ship on the screen. It's got cannons and stuff, but I'm not going to explain all that because that's going to be confusing. Why would our ship have all these stats and stuff? Anyway, so we're going to head out here towards Sailor's Isle. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fly around here and then turn here. And you're going to want to start heading up here towards Powered Isle, but we get cut off by this guy with a curt voice. Hmm, can I help you? This ship here is a free medical vessel. Are you here for treatment? You sick or something? No, we're fine. We're just passing through the area and saw your ship. We figured we'd come and see who you were. Wait a second, your clothes, your weapons, your eye patch. You guys are air pirates. You're just in time. There's something that I want to ask you guys. Please come inside. You can't avoid this, by the way. Hi. I apologize for the abruptness. I know you don't really need my services and have no need to stay. But I have a favor to ask of you. But first, let me introduce myself. My name's Doc, or that's what everyone calls me. I'm a free doctor. I don't have a country to call home. But that lets me live the way I want to. So I fly the skies and heal sick and injured sailors wherever the wind takes me. Oh, and this is Maria. She's a little quiet and shy, but she's a good kid. Right, and what was it that you wanted to ask us to do? Huh. Direct and to the point. I like that. But, here, take this lens. It's sort of related to what I want to ask you. That thing's called a moon lens. It's a special lens made from moonstones. With it, you can see things that, wouldn't norm that you wouldn't normally be able to. Here, put the lens on and look where I'm pointing. Whoa, there's something, some sort of creature right there. It's a moonfish. They're tricky little fellas to catch because they're, well, transparent. You can only see them using that lens. Which brings me to the favor I wanted to ask you. I want you to find as many of these moonfish as you can and bring them back to me. They tend to nest in populated areas for whatever reason, so check towns and dungeons. But they try to keep out of most people's ways, so look in hard to reach areas like behind buildings, under bridges, and rooftops. Oh, one more thing. Whenever you're near a moonfish, the moon lens I gave you will react and make a sound, so pay attention. Okay, so I use this lens to see the little guys. How in the six moons am I supposed to catch them? It's pretty easy actually. Here, let me put the moon lens into your goggles. When I'm done, you can use it to go into first person view. Why button? Once you find a moonfish, a target will appear. Line up with the moonfish, and when you've got the moonfish in your sights, just press the A button. And here you go, the lens was a perfect fit. Well, sounds easy enough, right? Actually, the reason for all this is a bit strange. A little bird got lost and found its way to my ship. I decided to take care of it for now, but I just don't get what the bird's problem is. He refuses to eat anything other than moonfish. But for whatever reason, Maria seems to have really grown attached to the critter, so I do. So I do what I can to keep it happy. It's sort of my responsibility to take care of Maria. Anything she wants, I provide. Of course, there's only so much I can do. But I can't leave my ship. I can't leave Maria here all alone. That's why I'm asking you for this favor. Of course, I will compensate you adequately. It brings me lots of fish, and I'll give you items in return. So please, if you find any moonfish, bring them to me. I will be eternally grateful. 
So that's basically a side quest in disguise. Or a collectible. So now we can collect all those moonfish. There should be moonfish near or on Sailor's Island. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you can find them. Be sure to check on top of roofs and behind buildings. Check everywhere using your first person point of view. Good luck. Well, basically that is a, a new collectible. We can now collect moonfish. And there are some here on Sailor's Island. Which, I must say, this city is kind of cool. It's a little cramped, but I like it. And here we get a nice little scene to look at it. Wow, this is Sailor's Island. I've never been here before, but I can already tell that this place is lots of fun. Yep, I think I'm going to like it here. Good. After I restock my supplies here, I'm leaving again. You two can stay here. Huh? Hey, wait a second. We have no ship. Are you planning to just strand us here? Huh. I've got to find Rocknum. And in the meantime, I have to find a cannon that is powerful enough to destroy him. I have no time to waste with you kids. You two can resolve your own problems. This is just great. He's not listening to anything we're saying. I wonder if there's anything that will make the old man change his mind. Maybe we can dig up some information. Let's go around town and see what we can find. And Drachma has left our party. We didn't even get to see him fight! Jesus. Anyway. So he went off into the tavern right there. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head down here. And we want to head to... Actually, before we go doing that. If you walk around... Start hearing a little bit of a sound. Might not really be able to hear it, but uh, if you come in here, this is our first instance of an inn. It's your basic thing. You talk to this guy, and basic inn for an RPG. Hello there, traveler. Are you weary bones? This is Sixty gold a night. Would you like to buy a room? And I say leave because we we pretty much have full health right now. Doesn't matter. There's a safe point in every single inn in the entire game. So just keep that in mind. And wait, before we leave, I forgot. You want to head up these stairs here. And when you head up these stairs, you walk outside. And there's the sound that a moonfish is nearby. And there's the moonfish. Now, it may look like I'm not actually aimed at it. And I admit, I'm not. But it actually will center on it. Like, I'm moving the joystick right now. And it's not moving. Because that is locked on. It's weird. But there we go, we got the moonfish. So there's our first moonfish. I believe there's two on Sailor's Island. I can't remember exactly. But um, I am going to be getting 100% of moonfish as well. So just keep that in mind. Because um, it, it, it's, it's what I'm going to do. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is there's another moonfish we can get here. That one's probably the harder one to find because you probably won't hear the sound the sound of it. I don't know why that was hard for me to say, but if you come over here, you can hear it again. And there it is. And there's the other moonfish. Now we have two moonfish, and we'll probably go stop by and give those to Doc when we get a chance. Now, obviously, this being a town, like any RPG, there are things to get here. Um, well, there's shops, I mean. This is the weapons merchant, who is probably the biggest instance of this era of when this game came out. If you can see, his arms are different polygons than the rest of his body. Now, that this was actually just a common thing people did back then to make the game look good, because they put the shoulder as part of the body. It got way too confusing. So this was one of the few ideas that made it look good, is to have like the arm as its own thing. And it really... This guy just stands out really bad with it. Welcome, this is the weapon and armor shop. So we're going to want to buy and sell weapons, as you can probably guess. We don't have that much money, but we do have enough to get Aka and Vice a new weapon. So we're going to get the Sky Cutlass, give it to Vice, we're going to keep the same colors, and we're going to get... Oh, we have a hook hand. That's not for Aka, but we have a hook hand. That's for Drachma. So we're going to buy that as well. And we're going to sell our Pirate Cutlass, because there is no use keeping your older weapons. It's a very, very, very basic RPG in this way. So we're going to equip these to Vice and Aka. That's going to give them a little bit more defense. And we can sell our old uniforms. Is there anything else we can buy here? A gemstone ring, which increases magic. It's not something I totally want. Um, that increases attack. Not something we need. And Mystic Dress is actually worse for Aka anyway. So 
guess it's not that bad. Well, this increases magic defense. That's what it is. Um, but yeah. And that's about it. We don't have all that much. But, uh, I have an odd feeling we might find some more money somewhere. Thanks. Come again. Make sure to come back here every now and then to see what new weapons and armor I have in stock. And yes, he will have different weapons in stock later in the game, I believe. Could be a little wrong. What's this guy doing? It's so good to be on solid ground. Oh, lovely ground. Oh, sweet solid ground. It feels so good just to be able to roll around like this. Ah, oh, nothing beat... I don't know. He's really weird. He looks like he's laughing, not really being proud of it. I just love this, the way this bridge works, because it actually works really well. Anyway, you want to head down here and... Oh, God, no. Not another one of these. Not another one of these really, 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 really tall... Ladders. No. Oh, it wasn't that long. But, uh, I believe there's something up here. I could be wrong. No, I was wrong. I apologize. I thought something was up there. My bad. I'm sure all of you were just like, Oh, why? Why would you waste my time doing this? Ah, anyway. Climbing down a ladder. Jumping off to ladder, running back around here and out here, and anyway, so we've pretty much bought everything we needed, and the next thing I'm going to want to do, this is the item shop by the way, is right there, I'm going to head up here to this shop right here, this, well this isn't a shop per se, this is very useful that you come to this, this is the guild, this is the sailor's guild to be more exact. You can get information about ships and general sailing tips here. We also purchase information on discoveries made through the world, throughout the world. So if you've made any discoveries, just let us know. We'll pay you handsomely for the information. Don't forget to check out the wanted list to see who else is causing trouble around these parts. So we're going to want to buy and sell discovery information. You can buy info, which to me is not worth it. But you can sell info. We have the pirate's grave, which we got in the second episode. So there we go. It actually is an easy way to get money. Now, if we look at the wanted list, the wanted list does have a bounty. So, if you beat this, Balter the Black Bearded, you get a thousand gold. So, he says, He is known for attacking towns and his ships throughout the mid ocean area. He is known for a lack of mercy. His favorite tactic is to weaken his enemy ship, the Blackbeard. Wait. To weaken his enemy using the Blackbeard, his ship, before boarding to loot. Beware the power of his ship's cannons. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we'll run into him somewhere. I don't know. But we're going to leave for now. Because we don't really need any of that. But, uh... Yeah, next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to walk over here to the sailor's shop, which... Or the... Not the sailor's shop. The uh, ship merchant. The ship parts merchant. He says, Hey there, big guy. How's sailing going? This is a ship parts shop specializing in big guns and stuff. But actually, I just ran out of stock. I'm waiting for the next shipment to arrive. So I'm a little bored right now. Why don't you stay and talk for a while? I don't have anything better to do, and I might have some information that might interest you. Listen to what he has to say. So tell me, what's this information that you have? I'm glad you asked, big guy. It's something I heard from a sailor on his way back from Valua. He says that the ship parts merchant in Valua has started selling a cannon they call the Harpoon Cannon. It's some sort of giant spear-like weapon that they mount on the front of your ship, and it's connected by a rope or something. And from what I hear, because there's a rope attached, you can just reel in that spear-like that spear-like thing back into your ship. Saves money on ammo. I expect it I expect it packs a real punch with a weapon like that. Even a small ship can probably hold its own against larger ships. A harpoon cannon, huh? You know, we just might be able to use this information to try and convince Captain Drachma to take us to Valua. So, huh, now I see why we, there was the point of talking to that guy in the first place. How did Kevin know about what to do to advance the story? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to open this door, and we're going to talk to Captain Jackma. And he's going to say, when it loads, finally, there it is, <laughs> Captain Jackma. Will you stop calling me that? You don't say it with me anymore, therefore I'm no longer your captain. Really? Oh, that's too bad. I heard about a cannon that might be able to take out Rocknum, but since you're no longer sailing with us, I guess it doesn't matter. What did you say? 
Well, in Valua, there's something called a harpoon cannon. It's the most powerful cannon there is. Cap- er, Drachma. You could go to Valua and get one yourself, and take us along for the ride. What do you say? Hmm. It's probably just some trick to get me to go to Valua. Wait a minute, I'm telling the truth! Now that I think about it, I remember hearing something like that. Some Valuan soldiers passing through here were talking about it one day. They said it had enough power to destroy a small island. Polly, I hope you aren't taking their side and lying to me. When, Drachma, have I ever lied to you, huh? Hmm. And besides, I can tell these kids aren't lying by the looks in their eyes. I've been running this tavern for 20 years, Drachma. I know people. I can spot cheats and liars, and these children are neither. Alright. I won't get my hopes up, but I'll take you to Valua anyway. What? That means... <sighs> if you want to go, you'll have to work the entire way, but I'll take you there. Epic pose! Alright! Captain, you're the best, and thank you too, Polly. Thank you for believing us. <laughs> Don't sweat it. When you're done with your adventure, come back and tell us about it. This crusty old bunch is dying for some fresh tales. Ha! <laughs> aye, aye, ma'am. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Alright, but be careful. Valua isn't known for their hospitality. They're usually shoot first and ask questions later. She's right. Also, we'll need an, an entry passport to get in. Unfortunately, I don't have one, but I'm sure someone here on Sailor's Island has one. Valuan passport, huh? Alright, let's go look for one, Captain Drachma. Drachma has joined our party, again. <laughs> anyway, so quickly, I'm going to equip Drachma with his new weapon, the Hook Hand, which increases attack by a lot, uh, by like 9, which is still a fair bit, or 8 be more exact. But anyway. So we're gonna walk out of there. I like how in there there was like ambient noise of like plates and stuff. Anyway, you're gonna want to come here real quick. And I guess the Sailor's Guild is the best place to find a passport, don't you think? Because I mean, it makes the most sense. Is this the Sailor's Guild? I need some information. Oh, if you have any questions about sailing, you're in the right place. I need to get a Valuan passport sometime. Um, soon. Do you know how I can do this? Hmm, a Valuan passport soon, huh? That might be a little difficult. After the initial application, there's an intensive background check, and that can take up to a full lunar cycle. Just like the real world, I guess. <laughs> we can't just sit around for a lunar cycle. You're the guild master here, right? Can you make a fake passport or something? No, 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 no way! If anyone is caught making or carrying a fake passport, they're executed on the spot! So what you're saying is that all we have to do is not get caught, right? Or if we do get caught, all we have to do is escape. I don't want the Valuans after me. If I make a fake and you get caught, they might be able to trace it back to me. Then I'm a dead man! You call yourself a guildmaster, huh? You're just a Valuan puppet. Let's go find someone else. Um, excuse me. So you are looking for a Valuan passport, eh? I was in Valua on business and I'm on my way home. I don't need this one anymore. I have but one request to ask of you and the passport is yours. Yay! Really? You have a passport? What do you want? Anything. Ask us anything. I'm a merchant from the kingdom of Nazar. Nazar is located on a desert island in the east of here. I've heard rumors that the Black Pirate Balter has been seen in the skies near there. Balter, huh? I've heard of him. He's ruthless. He attacks unarmed ships and steals their cargo. And what I wanted to ask of you was, well, if you could escort me back to Nazar. If you get me safely to Nazar, then I will give you the passport when we arrive. I think it is an even trade, yes? We'll accept your offer. It's a deal. You accept? You are wise beyond your years, young one. Just leave it to us. We'll protect you. Huh? Well, if we want to get to Valua, I suppose we have no other choice. I shall be waiting for you at the docks. All right, we'll finish up here and meet you at the Little Jack. Before you guys leave, make sure you check out the wanted list. 
It's a list of all the most wanted black pirates that have bounties put out on them. That pirate you were talking about, Balter, the black bearded, is on that list, too. Defeat any of those swine and report to the Sailor's Guild and you'll receive a bounty. So if you defeat Balter, report to the Sailor's Guild. You'll get paid handsomely. We also get news on the new bounties and add them to our wanted list, so drop by every so often and check it out to see if it's been updated. That is something we're all going to have to take care of in the next episode, though, because for now, I, I think I'm done with this. We, we've, we've recorded for a good little while. We got a lot done, got through a lot of cutscenes, and again, I'm sorry about all the cutscenes, but it seems like we're going to have, like, a couple episodes of cutscenes and then a couple episodes of of the meat of the game, and I'm going to tell you again, the meat's going to come, like, right after this, so... Thank you all so much for watching. This has been KevinJ2010, signing out. Hopefully next time we can get to Valua. See you guys all later.